forgot about Sanzang strengthening quest. Can't believe I forgot about that. Oh. And now I just remember what I drew the other day. Oh, maybe it's better if I leave the sound off. I'm just gonna keep skipping like that. That's not too good. Yeah, this isn't gonna look too good when I have Twitch open. Oh well. Hey Antonio, what's up? Hey, I had to do something to kill 30 minutes before the direct started. How's it going, man? Hey, Zocario, what's up? I'm not playing golf for 30 minutes, dude. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather do something I need to get done. Like, you know, grind. Uh, what's in this one? Two and a half weeks of vacation. Man, I wish I could have two and a half weeks of vacation. Well, did you at least have an enjoyable vacation? What do you mean sh- Where did that come from? Whoa, you're awful hostile today. The fuck's up with that? Do you want to know how much vacation I've had through the throughout the past fucking year? Five? No, I can't even say that. Three days. Three days vacation I've had throughout the fucking year. Oh, but please go on. Tell me how your two and a half weeks is fucking nice, huh? Three fucking days. Normally, it's supposed to be five days I have off, but two of those holidays are Mondays, and I don't fucking work Mondays anyway, so it doesn't even fucking matter. How dumb do I have to be? It's called my company is a shipping company, and we're open every fucking day. <laughs> also, cool. You're right at the midpoint, uh, Zalcario. What, what path are you going on? You should have had 30 days vacation and got much less. Yeah. People really should have more vacation days than you have. I mean, I think in a couple weeks it is going to be my one year at the place I've been working. And only then I get five, five, five days of vacation. It sucks. D where where I work, we do not have a good system with vacation days. However, healthcare is amazing where I work, or at least health plan through the union. How much do I work? I mean, to be fair, it's a part time job, so I only work maybe like twenty three, twenty five hours a week. About. So I mean, I guess it's not that bad, right? Yeah, about. I'm guessing you work more. Yeah, 56. Well, yours is a full-time job, though, right? That's probably why. Because you work full-time, I only have a part-time job. Yeah, exactly. And you work six, oh Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I was I was forced to work six days a week last December. I'm not doing that again this year. No matter what they say to me, I'm going to tell them, well, in not these exact words, because I'd be fired, uh, fuck off. 
Hey Dave, what's up, man? You know what? We're we're here for a Nintendo thing. <laughs> well, to be fair, my part-time job is very physically intensive. Cuz you know, I'm unloading trucks, loading trucks. Especially with he the weird and heavy shit people ship nowadays. I'm trying to think how many boxes of crickets I've seen over the past year I've been working at UPS. It's been a lot. More than I like to see. I'm pretty sure one time I got a box of bees. There was the one... T oh, there was the one time through air shipping we had uh, at least ten boxes of blood. Yeah, you know, people ship crickets to feed to their, like lizards or some shit. I don't fucking know. Oh, I, at least I hope that's what it's for. <laughs> at least I, I really hope that's what they're shipping them for, and not for some other reason. Yeah. Oh, uh, hey, Chris, what's up? Oh, did your left Joy-Con finally keel over and die? Maybe it was your blood. Hey, Jack, what's up, man? <laughs> Oh, that was weird. Wasn't clicking. No, it wasn't. Oh, and just recently, one of my bosses enlightened me. One of my uh, ma one of my supervisors enlightened me, because I, I was dumping packages down a chute the other day, and uh, there are these like w w uh, white square boxes we get occasionally, and he he just comes over and says to me, "Oh, you want to be careful with those boxes, because if those spill, it's gonna be a real bad time." I'm like. What is in these? He's like, oh, uh, pe people ship their shit in those. I'm like, y you mean like medical samples? He's like, yeah, that's it. I'm like, what the? F oh, f cool. Yeah, I, I really hope these boxes are fucking sturdy. I don't, I don't want to have to clean deal with cleaning that quite literal shit up. <laughs> Thankfully, none of those has broken open so far. <laughs> At least as far as I'm aware. When I have been working with them, none of them have broken up. None of them have broken open, so th that's pretty good. <laughs> oh man, that's Neurofest gone. Well, I have I haven't broken one on this. Uh, I haven't broken one roulette on this account yet, but I I've already gotten the costume dress on my personal Jack. Imagine the box breaking will carry. Oh god, you know I can tell you from experience, there are a lot of companies who ship stuff in boxes that are just very, very flimsy. Like, for those of you in America, if you ever order anything from Walmart, the boxes they ship stuff in are so fucking awful. Like, just picking it up off the belt, I have to pray that the bottom doesn't fucking disintegrate and just drop shit everywhere. I, I can't I can't tell you how many times that's fucking happened to me. Like, I'm trying to move a box from one belt to another, and it's a fucking big Walmart box, and then just a bunch of shit, like, drops out of it, rolls onto the belts. We gotta go up and stop the belts, get all the shit off of it, put it on the table to the side, and, like, oh, it's a fucking pain in the ass. I, I hate Walmart boxes. They're the worst. Do you a favor? That depends on what the favor is. But what what do you need, Antonio? <laughs> oh yeah, that reminds me. I was doing rolls for Neuro Bride on this account the other day with some of the free quartz we got. Well, I th here's the thing. I'm I'm not a delivery guy, Antonio. <laughs> First off, we, we don't do international deliveries. We just deliver stuff in, like, the nearby proximity to our facility. And I'm not a delivery guy. I, I just work in preloading. <laughs> That's why I work from, like, 3 a.m. to 9. But, oh, yeah, I was doing some rolls for, a uh, For Nero Bride with some of the free courts I got. And I'm happy to say I got Lancelot from one of those roles. He, he he spooked me, but you know he's good, so I can I can let that slide. 
Uh, the, the other thing I got, on the other hand, I cannot forgive because I don't want this. What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> I, I got this on my per I got a stove on my personal account, dude. I don't know what to fucking do with him. <laughs> I don't want him. How'd summer go? On my personal account, I actually did really well. Because on the first summer, on the rerun of last year's summer event, I was able to get every single summer servant. Like, I wasn't even going for Artoria Archer. I was. I just wanted to get a... What is it? Martha Ruler. And I wound up getting her beforehand. I still thought it was good for farming if I don't have Drake. Alright. Well, I assume you mean the doors, so... I guess for CP farming... QP farming. You know what? I did see that. Yeah, Renea and Dancing Burkut. That that's that's very cool. But Burkut finally looks happy. Yeah, Caster Zerker. I mean, you were fourteen hours. Jesus Christ. Damn. Wait, he looked happy for a different reason. <laughs> yeah, that's true. With the skill upgrade, Astolfo does now have an NP battery. And damn it, I do like I do like servants with NP batteries. <sighs> Son of a bitch. I might level up Astolfo. I mean I already do have a rider that I'm leveling up, but it's not like I need actually need ascension materials for him. Hey Reen, what's going on? And everyone's dropping by for this direct today. Oh uh, yeah, as you can see on this account, I got Summer Mordred. I think I have her at NP2 on this account. Yeah, I do have her at NP2 on this one. I think I was trying to go for like Anne and Bonnie. Well, I mean, af after a year of playing... <laughs> I, I I'm bound to have uh bound to have some good stuff. Oh yeah, I, I have this dog too. He's cool. I'll probably level him up too, too, because he's my only uh he's my only Avenger. And I, I could use an Avenger. Especially when I get to uh <laughs> when I get to uh what is it? Camelot. When I fight Lance a lot, he'll be useful then. Oh yeah, and I got a, uh, I got Kiritsugu. I forget what he spooked me on. <laughs> I've gotten a, for some reason I've gotten a lot of Kiritsugu spooks. <laughs> Watching five Ds. I think the Kuritsugu I have on my personal account is NP4 now. <laughs> yeah, all, all of my Kuritsugus have been spooks as well. <laughs> ten, still 10 minutes of ads, that's pretty fucking bad, dude. Let's see. Oh, I didn't mean to click on you again, Kuritsugu. I, of course, I, I do have Summer Fran. I was leveling her up to use, but I think I'll wait until the four-star ticket, because I do want to get Nero on this account as well, and I think I'll just do that. Although I know if Saber Fran is very, very good. So yeah, uh, the SR ticket. I'm, I'm, probably gonna, I'm probably just going to get Nero on this account, and then on my personal account, I'm going to get Emiya Alter. I'm actually surprised to have him on this account at NP2. I really need to get him leveled up, because I really want to use him more. He's so fucking cool. I still have to finish max ascending a lot of people. Like Kiara. I still don't have her max ascended. Dude, just get, just get an ad blocker, man. If you want to watch anime without the ads, get a fucking ad blocker. <laughs> or, you know, actually get a subscription to a streaming service. 
What's surprised at Emmy Alter, Chris? <laughs> yeah. Emmy Alter, man. I gotta say, I, I like his first ascension a lot more than his other ones. I think he looks better on this one. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are still very upset about that. I'll, I'll go on some of the official FGO tweets, and I'll still see salty posts about that. It's annoying. Oh, I gotta finish leveling Orion, too. And cats. Dude, there are so many altars nowadays. It's nuts. I'm trying to think who else has an altar. Jean has an altar. Uh, now A Atalanti has an altar. Why am I forgetting other altars? I know there are other ones. But for some reason, off the top of my head, I can't think of them. <laughs> Shit. Oh yeah, but the here, here here's Saber Altar. <laughs> yeah, the, the that, that's the one you're talking about, right, Chris? That that's the Saber Altar you're talking about. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm a little upset I can't get her Ascension materials anymore. Oh yeah, Artoria Lancer Altar. Oh yeah, now there's Artoria Ruler. Dude, Artoria Ruler is fucking cool. I really like the uh I really liked the summer servants from this year in F in uh JP. They were pretty good. Especially Osakabe Hime. And Okita. Oh yeah, Okita has an altar. I forgot about that. <laughs> What what what's what's fun about the Dimitri path, Antonio? Yeah. Yeah, that's understandable. Fe Felix is a fucking monster. I should never really finished using Sylvain. I kind of dropped him. I forget who I dropped. I think I dropped him for Sedith. Or Bernadetta. I honestly can't remember. <laughs> No spoilers. All right. Well, we we won't spoil three houses for you, Chris. Not not in this chat. Hey, Bremen, what's up? You had me park in the middle before. <laughs> God damn it. I should try doing a. Uh... You know, I I, sh I should have used brawling characters more, because I think even even till now the only character I've uh... the only character I've used with brawling is Raphael, and he he's a fucking monster. Even when, even when I use him unarmed, he still just fucking destroys everything. It's great. <laughs> Quick repost. I forgot about that. I think I use Caspar as a warrior. I'm trying to think of some of the other classes. I because I tried playing around with classes a little bit in uh, this new playthrough of Golden Deer. I'm using. I made Bernadetta a Gremory, which in hindsight wasn't the best idea, but I mean she's not awful. She's just very outshined by both Lysithia and by Marianne. <laughs> That's the only thing. But I mean, hey, she's not bad. She actually gets a pretty decent amount of spells, too. I don't know what I want to try using Bernie as next. Yeah, B Bernadette is an amazing sniper. She she was easily my best in my uh, Blue Lions playthrough. <laughs> I, I, I benched Ash, I think a little bit after the time skip for Bernie, and I just... Uh, invest in her fully with uh, making her a bow knight. Oh, oh, that 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 is so good, bow knight Bernadetta. Yeah, 
I, I've, I've had that a little bit, too. <laughs> Jeez, the level ups. <laughs> yeah, B Bernie gets some really good stats. Not gonna lie. It's, it's, it's why she will always be my favorite. She's best girl. And Felix is best boy. I love I love Felix, especially that that man's supports. They're they're so good. It's, if you guys haven't seen it, his support with Annette, oh, it's it's the cutest shit I have ever seen. Oh, that should be nice. I'm sure we'll get that in what two years, Brimen. <laughs> oh yeah, her personal skill when she's damaged, she deals an extra five. <laughs> she has an extra five attack. That's really good. Your Ash is way stronger. I don't know, my, my Ash never got really good level ups. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I don't think I got many good level ups. What happened with the library? What do you mean, what happened? Oh, do you mean that thing with Arendelle? It's, it's not really explained on Blue Lions, I'll say that. But, uh... It, it alludes to something that you sort of learn on other paths. Hadelgard's godly. I still haven't done Black Lions. Oh, oh, you mean the Felix and Net support. I, I thought you were still talking about stuff that happens in the, uh... Hey, I didn't spoil anything. I kept it pretty fucking vague. All I mentioned... The only person I mentioned by name was Arendelle. That's it. Come on, I, I didn't spoil shit. You mean the library? You know, uh, th that that's not explained either. Whatever the fucking net was doing in the library with that explosion. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Mortal Savant is a really cool class. I, I like that one a lot. Aesthetically and how it works. It's just very good. Cause I I had Felix as that at the end of Blue Lions. <laughs> I mean, I can only assume Annette was going to blow up something in the library. She seems to be pretty adept at that in the kitchen. But, uh... <laughs> you know. All right, you know what, I think I'll switch over to, uh... There we go, I'll switch over to the direct now. Let me just close up, uh, Blue Stacks. Oh yeah, Chris, you're talking about Ferdinand too. Yo, I I, I started using Ferdinand because he was required into my he was forced into my party for a paralogue I was doing. But uh, holy shit, Ferdinand is a god. Like in in all of the battles I have had him in, which is which has been a lot so far. I think he's only been hit once or twice. He is a fucking god of evasion. Like, whenever he goes into combat, enemy hit rates are always at the very highest, somewhat below 50%. Nothing can touch the man. It's it's great. <laughs> Ferdinand is awesome. I, I really grew to like Ferdinand, too, especially because of his supports. Uh, F Ferdinand's awesome. I'd say he's probably my favorite guy from Black Eagles. Yeah, Ferdinand is fucking great. Or no damage. <laughs> nice. Are you sure that's not Sylvain's strength so much as you as it is your shitty luck? <laughs> oh man. <sighs> Why am I yawning? Oh right, I just woke up from like a three hour nap. I don't know why it took me this long to fall asleep after work, but okay. <laughs> yeah, 
Fer Ferdinand is really good. <laughs> you know, I don't think I had anyone like that on my, uh, on my first playthrough. I don't think I had anyone who had, like, really bad RNG. Everyone seemed to just do really well. Three more war masters with the dupe, Ileth and Felix. Nice. Yeah, I, I didn't really use war masters all that much when I went through blue lines. I just made to do a fortress knight. I was a dark bishop. And then Felix was a mortal savant. I really like the dark bishop class. It's a shame it's gender locked to guys only. Because, yo, can you imagine how much Lysithia would benefit from being a fucking dark mage? Like, holy shit. She'd be fucking broken. It's a shame, like, the re really the only person who can benefit from the dark magic times two uses all that much is Hubert. He he's, he's the only guy who naturally gets dark magic. Sucks. <laughs> uh, oh well. I mean, to be fair, Dudu is just dumb strong. <laughs> Dudu is just fucking amazing. Man, so so many of the blue lions are good. Because you have... Dudu is just this amazing damage dealer and tank. Felix is just a god of destruction. Mercedes is the best healer in the game. Like, fuck, man. <laughs> it's just a very good house. Oh, yeah. I I'm happy Nico picked Blue Lions, too. Because I, I, I honestly think that's the best path to go on a first playthrough. I mean, Mercedes is okay as a healer. She Not only does she get heal and recover, no, heal and physic, she gets restore to cure your uh, status ailments. She gets fortify. She has live to serve. Her magic stat is amazing. Mercedes is the best healer in the game, dude. On this playthrough of Golden Deer I'm doing, I actually made her my dancer as well. That, that's some pretty good utility, though, that she gets. <laughs> yeah, Black Eagles are pretty good. You know, if, if anything, I mostly say that the Blue Lions is the best for a first playthrough just because, like, so much of uh, White Clouds involves uh the kingdom of Fargus cuz you have the whole thing with uh with Lenato and Miklon and I feel like you just get a bit more out of that with uh the blue lions path and then you know the whole uh flame emperor thing in a uh, chapter I want to say 11 yeah 11 which I won't say anything about uh, but hey, we have less than a minute until the direct starts, and we didn't talk about anything that we thought was going to appear in it. Nice. <laughs> All right, cool. Hey, Aaron. You know what? You have not missed much. You have joined just in time for the direct to start. So I'm sure I'm going to be disappointed. I'm sure that if another Smash character gets announced, I'm going to be very, very disappointed. Uh, hey, Antonio, uh, what, whatever happened to, you know what, I'm not gonna mention it. Let's just watch this fucking direct. Bakugan, nice. It's been so long since I've seen something regarding Bakugan. I used to love that show when I was a kid. Oh, cool. Something I really don't fucking care about. Well, here's the thing we all knew was coming. Here's Overwatch. I swear, if we get a fucking Overwatch character in Smash, that's gonna be something I'm never fucking playing as. Someone I'm never playing as. Oh, that'd be so fucking stupid. Alright, we get... we. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what Overwatch is. You don't have to, uh, advertise it this hard. And it's not like we didn't know it was already coming out, man. 
Oh cool, look, you can control with a gyroscope. Does anyone really fucking care? Glorious. I'm sure nobody's gonna fucking use that. <laughs> October 15th. Alright. Hello everyone. I'll be your guide. Everyone can hear it okay, right? I'm Shinya Takahashi. Can everyone hear Mr. Takahashi okay? Or am I too loud? Of course. The latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch. Can I turn it up a little bit? So please look forward to it. Okay, let's get into our first yeah. batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please take a look. I'll put it up to 55% or 56. Get the of the hotel for yourself. Luigi's Mansion 3 takes place in a haunted hotel. I mean, yeah, to be fair, Gyro Every can be done well. Every a distinct theme unlike any other. Case in point, Tomb Suites. Again, just let me know if the volume's a bit unbalanced now. A hotel? Ooh. Guess we should expect some mummies. Heart this is snacks. honestly looking pretty good. And booby traps. I wasn't a fan of how uh, for the Dark things, Moon was done. Well, there's a disco floor, <laughs> a pirate themed restaurant. You get the idea. May not be the usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of. Uh, excuse me, is that a ghost shark? You. Well, check out. Speaking of amenities, step right up to this all new attraction. Ghost Screen. shark, huh? That's pretty mode, fucking cool. A Luigi team and a Gooigi team. With only one Nintendo Switch system, and two to eight players can battle it out. See that looks really the busy. Ghosts. Collect the most coins by piloting floaties with the Poltergust G00. <laughs> break the most targets. Hey, even Luigi needs a break sometimes. Oh, that's Luigi's pretty cool. Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 31st, just yep, in time for Halloween. Halloween. Get a load of this new free to start Kirby game. Yo, a new free Kirby game. Kirby, what Kirby, is this? Kirby and Kirby are in for some wicked boss fights. We're calling it Super Kirby Clash. Super Kirby Clash. Quest in town. And collectively, you and your team free to start. Jobs. Is this a That's right. Get your weapons, get your gear, and get ready. Some mighty tough Yeah, Kirby are RPG. Waiting. That's that's really cool. There are more than 100 quests. So, Get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. I wonder how this works. Race, know your role and work as a team. You can play alone, together on one system, team up via local wireless, or even play online. It'll be time to unite with friends and players from around the world and overcome each challenging quest when Super Kirby Clash launches later today. Oh, later today. today. Okay, I might have to try that out. Start two. This long-awaited, recently uh, released of Mana. RPG is getting a remake. After 25 years, fans of the Mana series can Are going to get a release date for HD this now? Remake of the third game in the trilogy, Trials of Mana. From this looks really Cam nice. I'm sad I never got into the Trials series. Uh-oh, it froze. You'll choose a protagonist and two companions. The uh -oh. you choose will determine which Don't do that too much, please. Stories you'll follow through this reimagined This looks world. nice. Now you remember what will happen to dear Jessica. Oh shit, it's English dub this time. This interference will not be forgotten. As each character advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells. Step into the light or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's appearance and abilities. Unlike the classic version, characters have full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks for each member of your party. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Find out what's in store for April the 24th. world of Trials of Mana on April 24th. Not bad. That does look nice. Is what happened to the crew of this doomed ship? The Oberdin vanished at sea in 1803, only to wash up four years later in Falmouth. This is a very no stylistic thing. The fate of the crew remains. I can't unknown. say I hate the aesthetic though. As an insurance investigator for the East India Company, you must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. 
Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. You bastard me! Take exactly what I give you! Explore the ship. Observe the situation and record your logical deductions. Huh. Without you, the true tale will never be told. What brought the Oberdin to such an end? Little by little, tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo Switch in Fall 2019. That looks pretty cool. Do I know if Astral Chain is good? Yeah, I think it's pretty. It's good. Out there with I, I, I bought secret. it the other day. I can't say I'm a fan of the scoring system. It's very Never weird how town. it works. But, uh. The rule yeah, Astral Chain's good. I like it. Peaceful town and the castle protecting it. One day, there suddenly appeared a giant monster. Now here's that game freak thing. Defend the townspeople. One boy named Axe will stand up to face it. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy ah. is everything if there's any hope to win. During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Huh. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. And almost all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Oh, cool! Little Town Hero will make a stand oh, that's on cool. Switch October 16th. Oh, I'm glad Toby's getting some work outside of today. Undertale and Deltarune. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, there's, there's Banjo. Alright, we getting a little info about Banjo. Ah, there we go, release date. Alright, so when's it coming out? And the release date is... Today? Oh, fuck off! <laughs> Just shadow dropping this shit. Come on, guys. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Guys, you can't just keep shadow dropping shit like this. The Nintendo Direct you're watching right now. All right then. To tide yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie, please check it out. But first. Okay, and here's a uh, Is this the new challenger or is this a uh, Oh, is this going to be a banjo? SNN. Gen Neo G. Oh, this is the SNK fighter we're getting. So who is it? Is it Metal Slug or is it going to be one of the uh, fighters? <laughs> I wonder if it's going to be Terry. This is a pretty good trailer, not gonna lie. All these fucking Neo Geo characters just going after it. <laughs> this, this is a good trailer, I, I, I like this. So who's picking up the Smash invitation? Yeah, it's Terry! Of course it's Terry! <laughs> now in development. <laughs> that, that was a good trailer. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, Fatal Fury. Okay, cool. Honestly, better than I was expecting. November. <laughs> oh, I'm glad it wasn't Overwatch. That would have been stupid. So, yeah, Terry Bogard. <laughs> Fatal Fury is joining the battle. 
That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the fighters. You know, honestly, I gotta say that was probably my favorite reveal trailer. That was really good. That was really well done. Oh. More. Happy to confirm the more. Development of more DLC a second wave. For Smash Brothers Ultimate. Outside the five fighters included in the yes. We can confirm that other new fighters are in development. Yes. The battle isn't over yet. I mean, we, we knew that was coming, but it's nice to have confirmation on it. Oh, that's that that's good so, to know. What do you think? Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, we'll have more to share with you in the future. For now, nice. let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. I mean, we we figured they're gonna add more for, more than uh more than just the five, but it's about time to wake the man, in the of Zelda <laughs> it's good to have confirmation on it. Which means the next big adventure on Nintendo Switch is fast. Oh, yeah, that comes out. Later this month, doesn't it? You'll need some strangely endearing islanders. Face a series of puzzling tasks. <laughs> I remember that video. Oddly uh, faces. Josie just Kirby. <laughs> Excuse me. Island before its mysteries get the best of him. What what what's what's Kirby doing in this Nintendo doing in this uh, Legend of Zelda game? I was gonna say, what the fuck's Kirby doing in this plus effects that alter Nintendo game? That doesn't make sense. To a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda series. That way, your friends can play them. Be ready. The Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening will launch before you know it on September 20th. The new Link amiibo figure will be oh, he was in the original one too. Huh. You know the heroes Yeah, Dragon Quest 11 S. Now don't know why they need to remind us of this every single Dragon direct, but uh S. I mean, yeah, we know it's coming, guys. Definitive edition. I'll, exactly I'll buy it again. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. I, I don't know if I'll play it in the uh to pass Dragon Quest play in this worlds. one. And experience new character focused stories. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. The day the game launches Free downloadable content can be found in the Champions Pack. Yeah, for the Trodan set. Including consumable items and more equipment that can change the appearance of party members. Oh, look at Veronica. <laughs> An RPG giant draws near. Dragon Quest XI S. Yes, of an elusive age definitive edition journeys onto Nintendo Switch September 27th. Until then, you can prepare for your adventure with the free demo on Nintendo eShop. I say we've gotten some pretty decent stuff so far. Looking for yes! Goodness? Then <gasps> Tokyo. Finally! Yes! Oh God! Yes! Oh God! Yes! Is coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh! Oh! Story takes place in modern day Tokyo. Oh, this game was so good. Oh! Oh, I can't wait to play this again. Oh, Yashiro! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh! Oh God! Yes! You'll face oh. off against this threat as up-and-comer Isuka oh. Aoi and his friends. Oh, God. Barry! Oh, Barry Goodman! <laughs> Fire Emblem characters like Krom and Sita will join you from another oh. dimension. No, I think Together, it's like... You'll wade deep I don't know what battles. this is, because it's called Fe Encore. Encore. Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And, in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Ooh. Be sure to check out the other new features from the new story element. Oh, these look like new, uh... In battle for the first time. <gasps> Excuse me, is that a player? Is that Tiki? Tokyo Mirage Sessions... Shark I saw Barry in there, too. January 17th. Excuse me, are Tiki, Barry, and Maiko gonna be playable? Welcome back to where nothing I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't see, uh... Boston. I wasn't paying too much attention. They didn't have a release date, did they? It just said coming soon, or... Who fucking cares about this? You just dropped Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Fuck, I gotta look at uh, look that up later now, see if they actually announced, like, a release time frame. Probably not, because it's still in development. They didn't? Alright. Thanks, Chris. Oh, spring next year? But Yeah, you can pre-purchase it, but spring next year? Alright. <laughs> oh, that's so good! I, I loved Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Oh, Deadly Premonition. Like, to Tokyo Mirage Sessions was so good. For, for those of you who, who never played it on the Wii U, pick it up on the Switch. It's going to be amazing. Yes. 
I I cannot wait for playable Barry. Divinity, original Sin 2, Barry good edition. Barry fucking Goodman. Check it out. <laughs> I can't help it. Dude, so much Nintendo has me by the fucking nuts, dude. <laughs> they just keep releasing shit I want. They they know how to keep me on their fucking system. Like shit, man. Oh, oh god. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so hyped. Th th this direct's already good because I saw one thing I l really, really liked. <laughs> yes, Barry was the one with the amazing English. Where's the budget? Hey, dude, I'm, I'm making like 300 bucks a week now. I can afford to spend the money I want. <laughs> It won't improve much because it doesn't need to improve much, <laughs> Dave. It was already good on the Wii U. It's probably going to be better on the Switch. I'm already looking forward to it. And now for a message from oh, Bethesda. Bethesda. Here, here's something about hey, Doom. Fans. Pete Hines from Bethesda. Oh, hey, Pete I'm Hines. Everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. I'm sure yeah, many Tony, of you I make, have I make 14 an hour. spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well, this year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first-person shooter franchises ever. And to celebrate, what are you doing, we're, Pete we're Hines? releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. Doom 64? For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom wow. 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. Relive your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action packed levels. Or if you're a newcomer, experience yeah, the Tokyo Mirage Sessions was really fucking make good. Doom one of the most popular shooter oh. franchises in history. Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. Looked fine. Introducing a brand new IP from developer High Res Studios, Rogue Company. To most of the world, Rogue Company Rogue is a rumor at best, company. but its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team oh, online. Oh, it's just PvP game fighting, you know, gun game. If you wield guns, gadgets, or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of photos, right. maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch in 2020. Yeah, that's fair, Deadpool. How's it going? Next. All right, so here's a break for a uh... RPG series, Pokemon Sword. All right, so Sword and Shield info. We have more information to share that will shed new light on this next Pokemon adventure. Yeah, let's Please get some more info about this. I'm excited for Sword and Shield. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Look at that Maractus running a fucking market stall. A where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. <gasps> oh, them, look at that little leaf you encounter new Pokemon oh, and meet new people throughout the, your Those adventure. sheep are so precious. They, they just roll around. Today, we'll cover <laughs> four features you can look forward to. All right, four features. This is going to be stuff we First, already knew. Customizing your look. All right. Once That's again, good. The latest That's always the good. Let's you pick your outfit. This time, it's not just <gasps> Excuse products, me, was that a shuckle shirt? Variety including outerwear and gloves. Wow. Marie, you better get the fuck out of here. Plus, you can change your hairstyle. Wow, and... Wow, that's a lot of options for hair. A little makeup. Makeup, a too? more to becoming a champion than simply holding wow. your battle skills. You oh, excuse me. That, 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 that other girl they showed looked a bit too much like Junko Pokemon for my liking. Camp. During your journey Pokemon through the camp. Gala region, you can camp any time. That Pokemon menu looks pretty camp. good. Oh. While you're there, you can. Oh, it's like Nintendo Dogs, but with Pokemon. Better, they'll also improve in battle. Oh. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. Oh, that's cool. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon <laughs> and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. We definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. Third, 
curry you can on cook? Rice. Pokemon Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on rice. How huh. your curry turns Sausages. Out and what type it is ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients you use. All right. Not to mention the heart you put into it. <laughs> there are more than 100 That's pretty types, good. <laughs> and each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks. The goal to master the art. Whoa, of what is that thing? Huh? What's that Pokémon? Yeah, what is that? And fourth, we'll introduce some new Pokémon discovered in the Gala region. First, Pulte is Geist. Normally, it makes a home for itself. <laughs> Yo, Krogong. Tableware, at hotels and restaurants. <laughs> its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma. And Did it just say its body is made of tea? Allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. This ghost oh, it's got Pokemon weak armor. Also has a special ability called weak armor. Next, another new Pokemon called. Kramer. Oh God, I, I don't know if I like that one. Water type Pokemon has one huge appetite. It will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth. That one's weird. <laughs> when it uses surf or dive during battle, watch as it rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. <laughs> if it takes damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. This is Krammer's exclusive new ability. That's actually a pretty cool ability. If he uses Surf or Dive, then it gets a little counter-attack. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon huh. Shield will launch on Nintendo Switch. That actually seems like an interesting ability. <laughs> yeah, that that is peak that. British. There's still two more months <laughs> until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can see your new adventure peak in England. the Gala region. T Pokemon. So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch. Oh, so I kind of see what Game Boy Luke has to say about that. Nintendo Switch Online. I gotta watch his reaction afterwards. And fun features. And now we're looking to add in an additional library of games. No, I don't think it's a held item. Yes! Thank you, SNES Online. With this, you can play a variety of classic Super Kirby's NES Dream Course, Yoshi's Kirby Island, F Zero, Link to the Past. Wow, wow, they're uh, they're they're putting in like. What, what's even the point of me having a fucking SNES Mini now? Available to play on another system for the first time. You can face off or team up in Poyo Poyo, passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend. Or even play together <gasps> Look at Kirby way. 3! Oh, Super Ghouls and, and Goblins. And the Rewind function. function. Yeah, it, what's, what's the point of me owning an SNES Mini? Here are the first games we plan to release. Earth Defense Force, Super Metroid, Super Soccer. All 20 of the games you see on screen will Pilot Wings. Tomorrow. Wow. Of course, we will tomorrow. eventually add more to the lineup. Okay, yeah, they, they definitely made that service a bit better. To Nintendo Switch online members, Holy so please shit. enjoy them outside. at no additional charge. Oh, you noticed this, did you? <laughs> to recapture the original feel of these games. Yes, yeah, so and now we get a uh, SNES Joy-Con, right? System, Nintendo Switch or controller. Exclusive controller as a special offer. To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. This Super NES style controller will be available for purchase exclusively is, for Nintendo that, Switch online members. Visit the Nintendo website. Is that the cheapest the controller they've ever offered? <laughs> it seems like that's the cheapest nice Switch controller. Games again with one of these controllers. Well, let's move on to some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Yeah, come on, give us some more. This direct's already fucking great. 2.0 survival mode. Nintendo uh -oh. Switch Online members, the large scale puzzle it, battle. Isn't game it already a survival mode? Getting a free update. Tetris 99 Invictus is here, and not for the Oh, it's exclusive to players who've won it. So I'll I'll never get that. <laughs> Can you survive against the best of the best? Well, no. I can't survive against the worst of the worst. Daily missions. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets oh, you get tickets for, for themes. Of custom themes. Sweet. Oh, and it gives music. In case your accomplishments. We're tossing in a vast array of new player items. Wow, too. they're really adding in a lot of different stuff. Beyond that, 
the second wave of paid DLC is here as well. In two-player share battle mode, pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend. For two people a online at the same time. Wow. The CPU and get together with friends to battle via local. Oh, cool! Eight, eight, eight player multiplayer. In local arena mode, the version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 will be available tomorrow. <laughs> A packaged version including the game, DLC, and an entire okay, that launches on my birthday. Month individual membership will be available September 6. Mario and uh. Sonic are ready to kick it <laughs> old school in Tokyo. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games has become a tradition of its own. This time, there are more than 20 events, including the 100 meter, karate, football, skateboarding, rugby sevens, sport climbing. Badminton, gymnastics, surfing, and you know what? There's more where that came from. Check out these 10 retro style events. <laughs> Each one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. That's They're pretty all good. New, all retro, and very refreshing. Fucking to play. <laughs> On top nice of that, spin, Bowser. New mini games. Unlockable oh, cool mini games! And a story mode in which Mario, a story Sonic, mode. Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game <laughs> based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic <laughs> Games Eggman. Tokyo 2020 will go for the gold. November. Trying 5th. to swim through the fucking digital wave. The next Damon X Machina demo will be here sooner than you think. You know, I'm still not entirely sold on Damon X Machina, from what I've heard from other people who've played the demo before. I might try the prologue demo, though, see if that changes my mind. Yeah, carry of your save data. That's nice. If you've never played a mech action game, and you're wondering what they're all about, this is the perfect time to take I mean, I am interested. I'm just wondering if I'm gonna like it. demo is the co-op mode for up to four players. And we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. So gather your friends and make the bosses feel like the I little guys. That a beam katana. The no, that's just a sword. support online play. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon? Damon X Machina will be ready for action September 13th. Oh, that's next Friday. The Star Wars classic so fun Star Wars. is back for more. Is that? Kyle Katarn, agent of the New Republic, is our only hope to stop a rogue Jedi. Jedi Knight 2. Get your lightsaber at the ready, blaster in hand, and prepare to wield the full power of the Force. Huh. Courtesy of Aspire, the full single player experience of Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast is coming to Nintendo Switch September 24th. Alright then. We've got new details on some upcoming games. Yeah, what else? What else is coming to Switch? My journey begins. You are the Carol Witcher Three. Maria, All right. Mercenary monster slayer. Your current contract: tracking down a living weapon known as the Child of Prophecy. You'll have a whole world to explore, at home and on the go. When the Witcher Three Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch right, so on October 15th. Speed through a bunch of shit now. And all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. <laughs> then transform into the ultimate assassin hunter in Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's two action-packed games for I don't one. know if we'll get more No More Heroes 3 news. DLC It'd be nice if we did, but touch control I, I don't think we will. Coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch in Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free-to-play action RPG Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your Slayer on the go, or a rookie ready to forge your legacy, you'll hone your skills, craft and customize hundreds of gear options, and team up with other Slayers to take down boss Yeah, I'm not too crazy about Assassin's Creed As either. See, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding I think I played the first one for like maybe an hour on my brother's PS3. And there's plenty more on the horizon. You know, back when I was much younger and only my little brother had a PS3. But, you know. Open your calendar. More games are on All right, more games. Come on, come on, hit me with the good shit. Oh, sizzle real now. That farming simulator. All right, just dance. No one. I, I don't give a shit. I'm sure someone does. Grids. Code masters. Grid auto score. Whatever. One. Farming simulator. Hey, Nino Kuni one. 
way. Yeah, they really gotta show up the Switch Mini. Call of Cthulhu. The Outer Worlds. Hey, DMC2! <laughs> wow. Vampire. How's everything going? Next up, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Ah, well, we here we details go. Details about the game back in June, so we prepared a video covering. What and now, now e e everyone's gonna be fucking hype and getting insane over this shit. I mean, not not to say I'm not excited for uh, Animal Crossing, but I swear some of these people take it way too fucking far. See what they got Thank for you us. for choosing the deserted island getaway package. A laid-back, relaxing time in a haven of nature. No, we awaits. didn't. Of course, we didn't. For you and the other Why would we get information about Mother in Three? The package, the time's come to get into yeah, the no, I, I, I don't understand like the intense amount of hype some people have it for this game. I mean, it's. Island. But the resident it's a, it's a fun little center. distraction, but I wouldn't say it's something so to get incredibly hyped about. over, like. I don't know. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. Some people just have like a really strange oh, amount of zeal else. for this game. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. I mean, if it was like some like kind of like actiony game that had like a lot of uh, like hype shit to it, then yeah, I'd understand. But I mean, tools and it's like a little Let's start getaway simulator. So I don't really understand how people get like all screamy and hype about it. Like branches. I mean, it's a great series. Don't get me wrong. I love Animal Crossing. I've played every iteration, then we'll and I've enjoyed every single iteration. And, and I'm, I'm gonna pick up bench. New Horizons, no doubt. But you know. Nicely done. <laughs> you can use the tools you Wh Whatever I'm trying to say. Materials like this, and with those. You can craft more items. Feel free to place furniture inside. Or outside, too. Or outside. You can fine-tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style. And you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. Let's head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. Huh. We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove, as part of our island cleanup plan. Oh wow, In they actually buy the weeds. In -game currency That's actually bells, pretty nice thing. Uh, you can also earn thing. Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. You can exchange your miles nah, for special items and recipes. I don't give a shit. Fucking come recipes. at me, guys. You'll earn miles through a host of <laughs> activities on the island, so be sure to take Fuck advantage of this program. Fucking, I don't give a shit. Come, come and roast me for not there being for not screaming about Animal Crossing at the top of my lungs. Island. Fucking Go do it, shape. bitch. <laughs> Catch some bugs. Tend to flowers. And pick them to make a garland. Like <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny to me. I'm just imagining people like going, Oh look at that, you can fucking pick flowers! Yo! Oh, it's so stupid. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. Oh man. <laughs> Find it somewhere else to change things up in that corner of the island. Oh, <laughs> and highlight. Fuck. with the time and weather. <laughs> there will be sunshine, <sighs> cloudy days, rainfall. I mean that that's my thing with it, Jack. It's not like it's some like super exciting trees. game. That's the thing. Depending on the time of day like, and season, you'll encounter different like, I understand liking Animal too. Crossing, because it's nice, it's relaxing, it's fun. Just not to the extent that some people 
sociable types go about this game, I guess. Can play simultaneously. Don't you see those trees shaking in the wind? Oh shit! We hope you enjoy living together and working together in the same space. With a local wireless or internet. Eight people! Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh, do I have no eight people I can play this with? <laughs> The whole scene feels meant uh, to be. Why not snap a God. with everyone? And oh, pictures! Oh, <laughs> uh, this is a stupid How fucking bit. Like <laughs> what we've shown you here today is Oh, shit! Yo, Bell Rocks are coming back, motherfuckers! Oh, look at that fucking mushroom. <laughs> activities, animals to encounter. Oh God! You from the island. I, I, I'm gonna give myself a heart attack if I keep doing that shit. Oh, do I give myself fucking coronary if I keep doing if I keep stressing myself like that? Fuck. March twentieth. There's your fucking release date. I don't think we had that yet, did we? So how'd it look? It looks nice. There's still a bit more time until the game launches, so please stay tuned. Alright, the <laughs> next game will be our last announcement of the day. All right. Please give it a look. What do you got for the last game? It's gotta be something good, Takahashi. That's Xenoblade. That is Xenoblade Chronicles 1 on the Switch. Oh shit! <laughs> that's cool! Nice! Oh, that's fucking nice. Oh, and it looks... Yo, is this in the Xenoblade 2 engine? Hold up. This is you the... Wish to change it? This is the Xenoblade 2 engine. Oh, shit. The future. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's amazing. The definitive edition. Oh, shit. Oh, that looks really good. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Yo, this looks beautiful compared to the original. 2020. Fuck. Oh, shit. Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles. <laughs> Yo, now, now I think we know why Monolith Soft uh, retweeted the Nintendo Direct. <laughs> On Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles oh, Definitive shit. Edition. Yeah, that's really good. For release in 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. You know, it's only 6:38. Thank you for watching. Oh, I guess that's all then. So I guess we're just gonna start the Banjo Kazooie presentation. Uh, I don't know if I'll stick around to watch that, but uh, I mean, you, you guys want to go a little longer for uh, the Banjo Kazooie thing, so we can just talk about what we saw here. I'm gonna turn down the stream a little bit. I'm not too invested in Banjo-Kazooie, but I mean, they'll be cool to try out, I'm sure. Oh, this is a, this is a good fucking direct, dude. Gotta go to sleep. Alright, well, thanks for joining us to watch this, Chris. See you around, man. <laughs> Yo, Xenoblade... Honestly? Xenoblade 1 in the Xenoblade 2 engine is gorgeous. Like... I mean, they already had the assets for Shulk and, uh... Fiora made from, what is it? From Xenoblade 2, the DLC. With hero, if you cast spells using command selection, you like the old engine more? Block those Why? This new one looks great. So I actually background, had Xenoblade 1 on the new 3DS for a while. I think I sold it. But I'll, I'll get I'll get the first one. Yeah, that, that was a really good but reveal for Terry. That was side. very good. <laughs> but back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically like this. Sakurai, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. So even though it's a bit of a pain, I do it like this now. 
This time around, I'll also be doing my best to control two fighters at once. Kind oh of god. Like Alright, Sakurai trying to skill on all of us. This time, I'm gonna control two fighters at once, guys. What is Banjo-Kazooie? It's similar to Super Mario 64, and it was first released on Nintendo 64 back in 1998. The character Banjo made his first appearance a year earlier in a game called Diddy Kong Racing. After that, Banjo Kazooie was released. Yeah, honestly. And then Banjo Tooie. I love uh I love how Xenoblade One looks in uh, they never came to Japan. Looks in the two engine. It's it's on it's gonna be gorgeous. Especially from what we've just seen. It, it looks amazing. As some of you may know, the Banjo Kazooie IP never right, belongs see to you, Chris. Technically, Neko and the Tui crew. I mean, hey, there are going to be more fighters. Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie to join the Super Smash Brothers series. But Antonio, what are you talking about? That, Pokemon has fishing. Rare also welcomed us with open arms. So, go, go to, to sleep, Chris. Today, Come on, man. Can do so on Xbox. <laughs> I know this is a Nintendo broadcast, but please <laughs> give the game a try you look, on Xbox. <laughs> Now let's talk about the music. Fucking the Banjo Kazooie. Oh yeah, so music I'm actually interested to see what music we're getting from Banjo Kazooie. If we were to include this music in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, as is, it wouldn't really match the atmosphere of battle. So we put a lot of effort into arranging the music. And they got the Grant Kirkhope to do it. I'd like to play for you several of these arrangements during the showcase. Up here. <laughs> Yes. Thank you, thank you, Sakurai, for pantomiming where the fucking. I, I love okay. this man. He's great. <laughs> oh, Sakurai is so good. All right, Banjo and Kazooie. So this is Banjo and Kazooie in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. There's Kazooie. We're using a special ROM today, so the camera is a bit different from the production version. We've included lots of actions Banjo and Kazooie use in their original Sakurai game. is very good to us. Oh, you, example, you can see the honeycomb piece. The talon trot here is oh, his dash is the talon trot. And I was wondering how they'd do that. On abilities like flat flip and feathery flap. I was wondering if Talent Trot was going to be like a command you have to input. Is called Claw Swipe. This ability looks similar to this in the original game. But yeah, it's normal attack. But it actually looks better much better instead of that weak ass punch banjo head in the original one. Their flurry attack is a rat attack rap. Their dash attack is a forward roll, which is Oh, they have the roll. Uses as well. This move is a pretty useful one. Their down tilt is beat bar. Their up smash is build drill. It looks a bit different from their original games, but the animation reflects the fact that it's a consecutive attack. In Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen Kazooie. Harisen is a word that only exists in Japanese, so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Regal Bash. I think Regal right, is the type of bird Kazooie is, so this ah. basically means bird bash, which is pretty accurate. Their neutral air is Wing Whack. Their back air is an air ratatat rat, which hits three times. Their down air is Beak Buster, which they use to downstab as they drop. Hmm. Yeah, Harrison recovery. As you can see, even their regular attacks are based on attacks from the original that. game. The down and up taunts were something that existed in the Banjo Kazooie series too. The up taunt is based on an animation from Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts where Banjo sometimes stretches. Hmm. Now I'd like to go over their special moves. First, their neutral special is egg firing. Alright, so the projectile is their neutral bay. The eggs bounce. And by holding down the button when launching the eggs, you'll do the attack you see here. Briegel Blaster. Huh. Briegel Blaster is based on this part in Banjo Tooie where the screen mimics an FPS. You can hold the button for auto fire, but as you do, the power of the eggs will gradually decrease, ah. so you'll need to be careful. 
You can cancel it by crouching or pressing the shield button. Next, there are side yeah, there's bottles. Wing. Okay, so side B is the invincibility move they have. Invincible charging attack. Yeah, invincible charging attack. It's fairly powerful. Yeah, I say that, that that actually has some really good range to it for an invincible dash attack. You can see some feathers above Banjo's head. Ah. Uh, there are five of them. So I guess those don't replenish until you After using them up, you won't yep. be able to use the attack yeah. again until you lose a stun. I mean, that that makes Since sense. The remaining uses of Wonder Wing only appear above So you only have five uses of them per stock. Make sure you hammer the number of uses into your head. You can use it as a recovery option. Huh. And since it's likely to trump counterattacks, it doesn't have many disadvantages. Oh, it, it does have a weakness. It just bashes through counters, too. Alright. In addition, you can be grabbed during this move. Huh. So it's not complete invincibility. How many Wonder Wing uses you have left. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure to take action against this attack and remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this in mind. Next hmm. is their up special, Shock Spring Jump. This move utilizes the Shock Spring Pad from their original game. There are a few things to note. <laughs> of course, First, Kazooie's you doing all the work. With the shock spring <laughs> you can just drop a pad on people. <laughs> Wait, you could pick it up and it's throwable? From other up specials okay. The fighter upward and that you're still able to jump in midair after using it, meaning you can oh. jump twice in a row. Huh. So if you're falling, you can use it like this. Jump and then dodge, increasing your ability to recover. Wow. That's actually some pretty decent recovery. Well, gives you some options so for way, recovery. The height of a shock spring jump will change depending on how long you hold the button down. Note the slight difference in height. There's a, there's a slight the difference. Special, Not much. Rear egg, they'll fire a grenade out of this backpack. It's a grenade egg. This is a slightly odd projectile in that it can only be launched behind the fighter. It can also be picked up and thrown. Is football shape, its bouncy trajectory can be unpredictable. After a certain yeah, especially if you're on flat slow. ground. Oh god, can you imagine trying to like call a shot with that thing? It's treated like an item, so you can pick it up and throw it. Your opponents can also throw it back at you. But its detonation sequence is relatively short. Yeah, it doesn't seem to last very long. And your opponents will need to make sure you throw it quickly, or it will explode while you're still holding it. Yeah, I guess that's true. Different ways to Inch determines either a save or a lose. Lastly, their final smash is and their the final smash. The mighty Ginginator is what delivered the final blow to Gruntilda in their original game. This move will send your opponents flying. Alright, Spiral Mountain stage. This stage is called Kurukuriyama in Japan, but in the west it's called Spiral Mountain. As you can see, oh, so it's little platforms off to the, the side too. Is a spiral shape. I wonder, can you walk on the other side of that? A rotation oh, you can! Oh, it tells you which side's gonna rotate. And the stage will spin. This is quite unusual, even for the Super Smash Brothers series. It's huh. truly unique. Anything on the stage, items or otherwise, will also move. As oh, so it actually turns, changes the, the uh... Spiral Mountain will also transform, meaning your recovery points will wow. also change. Oh, look, there's Mumba. Platforms like this will appear from time to time. A bridge will also appear when Gruntilda's lair is visible. It's an interesting now that stage. we've covered both the fighter and the stage, let's go ahead and jump into some actual battles. This time, I'll be taking on not just one, <laughs> but two fighters in a team battle. Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. That's a pretty good Hang match. On. So there are actually two on it's my the side rare too. boys. So I should be fine, right? Probably not. In fact, definitely not. Alright, like come on. Come on, Sakurai. Skill on us. So I'll play carefully. 
I should probably keep them in check. Your eggs, which can be fired forward or backward, are useful at times like this. And thanks to Kazooie, Banjo and Kazooie can use moves with a relatively wide range of attack. We'll make good use of these as we take them on. Note we're playing with items on. Look at this motherfucker. Hmm. I think we're doing pretty good so far. I have two opponents, and since items are on, they'll have twice as many opportunities. Actually, th th this dude items. took away one of DK's stocks, put Diddy at 8% without taking a single hit. Soccer is a fucking god, dude. I'm at quite a disadvantage, but I'm going to try my hardest. I can use one of Disadvantage, you're still doing real fucking good, though, dude. Oops, I guess I should be explaining all their moves, huh? <laughs> Ooh, ouch. Uh-oh. Oh, their final smash meter's filled up. You can have that. You can have that. Now. And... Nice. Oh, there goes DK. Now that there's one less opponent, this should be easier. I do want to use a final smash, but it might be a bit tough. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it might be a bit tough. He and says he immediately gets smash. it afterwards. I forced him out, so I win. What a fucking god. Banjo picks up a jiggy from the original game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sakurai god! Sakurai, we really don't like deserve you. The cameos that liven up the stage. First, Fuck him. The witch, oh man. Of course the mad lad just fucking gahud on us. Anyway, she's very cruel, and you can hear all about her from her sister, Brentilda. This is Bottles, a mole, and another poor soul. His fate is sealed in the beginning of Banjo Tooie. Oh, yeah, he dies in Banjo Tooie. <laughs> He's a friend of Banjo and Kazooie. Sakurai is a fucking god. Next is Mumbo Jumbo. <laughs> this poor soul yeah. has all of his mumbo tokens stolen by Gruntilda. Th that clip will be used for a long time. Throughout the game. And we have oh, yeah, there's Tootie. Can you spot her? She's running at the bottom. She's tiny and can barely even make her out. But by zooming in, you can see all the detail, even at her size. You could probably make an action game just using this. Wow. She's raising havoc on the vegetable patch for some reason. And after that, she strikes an enigmatic taunt. Now she's heading back home. She looks all calm when you look at her this way, but this soul is actually the saddest of all the souls. You'd understand how miserable she really is if you saw the game over scene in Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> oh, maybe she's not going home? And here come the Jinjos. We saw some of these a short while ago when the mighty Jinjinator appeared. They come in many different colors and were hidden throughout the world by Gruntilda in the original game. So you could say they're also sad souls. And now we see something floating around in the background. These are our basic enemy characters called Buzz Bombs, but since they can float around, they're lucky enough to have made the cut in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. <laughs> this is what they look like close up. It's basically a dragonfly, right? <laughs> we put a lot of thought into the guest characters as well, and we put a lot of effort into these hearts. Yeah, that, that ending, Deadpool. So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, so here's the song collection. Next, let's talk music. Ah, Gobi Valley, too. As I mentioned earlier, we're taking country style music and adapting it for use in battle. We're including a total of 10 music tracks. 10. Of these, seven are entirely new arrangements. Huh. I've always thought that getting all this for $5.99 is a fantastic deal. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoy it. It is a good deal, Sakurai. Thank you. The music for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Kirkhope. Yep. He created the original Banjo-Kazooie's music. 
Actually, it's only eight more than Final Fantasy has. Final Fantasy has two, Antonio. I was a bit worried about whether my director... Yeah, actually, that's true. This is the, these are the first arrangements that have been done by someone who's not a Japanese composer. And here's the list of tracks this time. Each of the new tracks has been carefully tailored to match the action taking place on screen. And 5.0. Alongside the launch no, Ultimate has two. It has the battle theme and the boss theme from 7. The same as the Wii U. We're very pleased with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... What's 5.0 gonna be? Which will game mode? Much be our final oh, mode. the final new mode. I'm going to go ahead and play, so please take a look. Alright, so what's this new game mode gonna be? And here it is. <gasps> oh, home run contest! Oh, shit! And with this bat... Not with this, but this bat. Yo, they actually put in the home run contest. Maybe a little too high. <laughs> oh, that's so, fucking awesome. Home run contest makes its return. It's been powered up in various ways compared to previous home run contests, so please enjoy. This time, sandbag has flown 300 kilometers. I think that's about look at that blushing sandbag. That's if you drive on the Tomei Expressway. <laughs> You can actually play with a second player. You can two player this shit? Let's give it a go. You, you can two player this shit? Keep attacking using both players. Fucking stop crying. Time to strike. Here we go. No. <laughs> this isn't how you're supposed to play the game. When I say two players can take part, I mean friends can play together. I'm not one person playing as two fighters. <laughs> I hope you Damn it, play Sakurai. As <laughs> no, this isn't how you're supposed to play the game. <laughs> In shared content, many people have uploaded their customized media. Oh. <sighs> Up until now, God it may it. have been a little difficult to use since you were not. Oh, uh, I'm glad I decided to watch this. Sakurai's really gotten a good grasp on humor for these fucking uh, presentations he's doing now. If you find a fighter that you like the look of, you can freely download them and set the special moves however you want and play as them. Oh, you couldn't do that before? However, this will not be applied to new fighters created before this software update, and only applies ah. to new fighters created after the update. So I hope you re-upload right. your new fighters. Please enjoy many different varieties of Mii Fighters. We will add in some Mii Fighter costumes as well. Oh, so new costumes. Look. I'm guessing from Banjo-Kazooie? Oh. Miss oh, go him on. Okay. Hey, Mega Man costumes. Proto Man. Mega Man X. Oh, zero. Well, no zero as a fighter get. Well. Yeah, no zero is a fighter, guess. <laughs> hey, Pokemon costumes. Team Rocket grunts! Oh shit! Oh my god, you can actually have a Team Rocket grunt and beat up a Pokemon! <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh my god! Sans! <laughs> oh shit! It's Undertale Sans! And music? Yo, they're actually putting fucking Megalovania in the game. That's really fucking cool. <laughs> fucking Undertale Sans. Sans Undertale is in the game. <laughs> God damn it. Man, no, no Sans is a fighter. I, I, I think I'm going to buy the Sans pack just for, just for Megalovania, though. Because <laughs> that's a good-ass song. <laughs> oh, man. Sans Undertale isn't going to be a playable fighter. <laughs> 
costume for Sans from Undertale, who was a popular request. Yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> and this Sans outfit also comes with a music track. This oh shit! The other category, so you can check it out there. <laughs> the arrangement was made by none other than the creator. Yeah, of Toby, Fox. Himself, Toby Fox. So it's actually a new arrangement instead of the original one. Toby has actually visited my house, and we played Super Smash Brothers oh. together. He was actually really good. <laughs> Aww. Of all the guests, he was probably the strongest. Aww, that's really nice. When we both chose random and played, the win <laughs> ratio was about half and half. Wow. Or I may have been losing. <laughs> Next, I'd like to talk about a oh, new that's set really of cool. that will soon be available. Alright, new amiibo. Oh, squ Squirtle. Squirtle. <laughs> Just keeping them all in different places. <laughs> oh, so you, yeah, he has one under the desk too. Snake. And Snake. I wonder why he was hiding. <laughs> <laughs> they will each be available on September 20th. He's definitely lost some of the awkwardness that he had in the hero presentation. He, he's definitely gotten used to this. Fucking Sans! I, I can't believe it. Sans Undertale memed his way into Smash. Oh, we're getting some info about Terry? Well, he's in development, so they don't have any gameplay of him yet. Terry Bogard will be joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Although we showed the reveal trailer, there was hardly any in-game footage. Some of you may wonder where the in-game footage is. Why are you still in development? Well, it's shaping up nicely. But we weren't quite ready to include it in the reveal. Yeah. That, 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 that was an amazing reveal, though. <laughs> I'd like to show you just a little bit of in-game footage. Oh, they actually have a little bit. Here you go. Yo, Terry looks fucking great. Yo, look at this King of Fighters stage! Oh shit, that looks good. Finally. <laughs> it was announced that we will be working on even more DLC fighters. Yes, you did. To me, it feels like the finish line is sliding farther away. <laughs> oh, poor Sakurai will never get his break. How much longer can he be involved with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? <laughs> but I'm also excited. Yeah. Adding more characters into the game means that more game worlds will be added to the series. And ultimately, that means that there will be an even greater opportunity to delight the fans. At the same time, I feel that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is now representing so many characters in game worlds that it's become an enormous game. <laughs> even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together again. Yeah, and so honestly. I want to keep improving on this record as much as possible. I, I, I don't think any other game can possibly put as many worlds together as Smash has. Your support. Honestly. That's it for today. Thank you very much. Oh, man, this was a really good presentation. <laughs> that was amazing, guys. Um, yeah, there, there's a lot of stuff in there I want to get. Fucking uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions! Yo! Yo, bro. Yo, if they had like a if they had a subspace emissary in this game and not a uh, World of Light, that would have been so that would have been such a cool fucking thing. I mean, unfortunately, there's not going to be any more game modes added after Home Run Contest. But can you imagine if they did it like after all the DLC was finally said and done, Sakurai and the team put out a fucking subspace emissary like story mode with all these fucking characters? Can you imagine how fucking immense that would be? Like, holy shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, hey, good direct. Overall, John's not disappointed. John is very happy with how this happened. Um, <laughs> yes, direct was fire. Uh, this is gonna be up on YouTube later in case you guys want to rewatch it and get some, uh, some of my reactions again. And I'm sure some of you guys are gonna clip the fake hype I did for fucking Animal Crossing. 
Uh, oh, but yeah. Oh, this is great. I'm glad I decided to stream this instead of recording it. Oh, this is a good idea on my part. Alright, so I'm going to go now because I only have like another two hours before I'm off to bed for the night. Um, but yeah, thank you all for coming out. It has been a lot of fun, and I'll see you guys on Friday for a stream. So, see you guys then. Bye! Oh, oh, hold on. What, what's, what's, what's going on, Antonio? When's my birthday? Friday! So yeah, my, my stream on Friday will actually be a birthday stream as well. You know, <laughs> it's funny. I said I was going to stream on Friday, and it, it just occurred to me now when you asked me that, it, that Friday was also my birthday. I had forgotten somehow. I swear to Christ. Oh, uh, my my memory is so fucking bad. Uh, SNS adventure. Well, we'll see. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go now. So I will see you guys Friday. Bye!